turn it over and stop it at the beep zone. Uh, yeah, Jimmy. What do I do? Hmm. Okay, okay. Ooh, how about this? You play the guitar. Jimmy, I don't have any hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Wait a minute, uh, how about you play yourself? I, I'm not gonna do that. I'll look silly and I'll go to the hospital again. Oh, come on. It'll be just fun. Uh, uh, no. Not gonna break my gun again. Albert. It's for kids. Fine. But I'm only doing it for the kids. And also, they better not make fun of me. Okay, it's time, man. You need to get out there. Got it. If you like to talk to circles, if a size can make you smile, if you like to see more miracles up and down the produce aisle, well, we got the show for you. Hit it! JP Tails, Triangle, Rectangle, Oval, Shaby Tails, Ramus, Octagon, Pentagon, Shaby Tails, Words of Sand, Gear to Gear, Catch Frame, Shaby Tails, Shaby Tails, Shaby Tails. Guys, I think I need to go to the hospital again! Well, hi kids, and welcome to Shape Tales. I'm Jimmy the Spear, and I'm out on the town! And we're here to answer your questions. Exactly right! I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, why is Oliver wearing a boot on his head? Yeah, Jimmy, I have to ask. Why am I wearing a boot on my head? Well, I got a letter today from Evelyn Powers from Yukon, Oklahoma. And Evelyn wants to know what's becoming a partner really means. A letter is the reason I have a boot on my head? Exactly! No, not really. Well, uh, sort of in the middle. Jimmy, you better help me out here. You see, I'm going to tell Evelyn the story of Feral Loot. And Evelyn, in that story, you, sir, are wearing a boot on your head. Oh, it's becoming clear now. Could you please hurry up and tell the story? My head started to sweat like a steamed vegetable. Okay, here goes! The sun always shone on the mountains of Pero. The wind and the rains never came. To call the place beautiful, no one would quibble. Though hot on the feet, they exclaim. But high in those hills, past the rocks and the rubble, so high that the clouds would be low, sat two tiny towns that were nothing but trouble. As you listen, you'll see that so. A town to the west that thought it was best bore the name Federal Loot, where the women and men since 1810 had worn on their heads one large boot. Now in town number two, one big boot would do. So the people of Germany land would look down and bow and have boot had belts and place on their own heads a pair. Mine's really more of a duck shelving. But they are on these two partners with bigger hats to boots guess it was best, and the boots and the pants were fly ever thicker from evening to day without rest. <laughs> but not all the people who lived in the cities were angry and bitter and vile. A, a few would write poems and say happy ditties, <laughs> and then <laughs> greet all their friends with a smile. Hasta la vista, baby. Weapon in the fellow who hated the fight, tried hard not to act like a snap. While pants crashed around him from morning till night, he just played with his pet, white up crap. They kept to themselves, and they talk and they talk. Until one day he said, Hey, let's go for a walk! I'm tired of lying around like Squidward. I want to go out there! So that's what he did onward. 
The boot headed boy and his galvanic friend walked out of their town and began to descend the dark rocky valley between the two cities, away from his friends and their light hearted ditties. La la la, la la la. Gosh, this is swell, sir. Hey, this is fun. It's great that my cred can get out and run. But near the toe where the boy with the boot could see the disaster about to en route. For up on the rocks, and just out of sight were six speedy eyes filled with anger and spite. Six speedy eyes watched our hero meander to see with looks and their ruthless commander. Oh, look what a good fortune, the nasty ward said. Here comes a poor fool with a boot on his head. Aunt Betty's got money. Aunt Betty's got gold and maybe some jewelry he'd like us to hold. Whatever the woody, I think I could stand it. That's why, why I live for. That's why I'm a bandit. And then they attacked him from under their rock. First they knocked off his boot, and they knocked off his sock. But the thing that they nest was extremely unfunny. Why did I shoot him so hard I dropped his milkshake money? Hey, he protested. I don't like your milkshake. I will like go start and make them sugar milkshake. But they didn't care. They accomplished their goal. So I put a friend down, stuck his head in a hole, and walked off with his money. Every last angle. And your back is a left. See you around, said Dwangle. I'm technically on my con. And he said with a moan, Well, I guess I'm alone. But this little knowingness he never known. His friends were far off and his crab was missing. The sound he could hear was just the wind hissing. Hello? Hello? Things look pretty grim for our oblivion, buddy. His head in the hole, his boot meant and muddy. But then, were those footsteps? Oh, could it be true? Along came the middle of Fiddler Loot. Of all we were sure, he held the pole sore. Hello? Said the boy with his head in the hole. I seem to have fallen. I seem to be stuck. But now that you're here, well, I guess I'm in luck. Oh dear, said the mayor, observing the boot. A fellow in need. He's Palladian by a hoot. Um, young man, I know it's your dying situation, and please rest assured that I share your frustration. But that, how could I put this? How, what could I say? Oh, or maybe you understand better this way. I'm busy, busy, dreadfully busy. You've no idea what I have to do. Busy, busy, shockingly busy, much, much too busy for you. Okay, I see. As soon as the mayor had finished his song, the Floridian doctor came strolling along. Out in my way! He said, starting to slide. If you and your triangle would please step aside, I'm very important I can't stand and chat. Well, that's not my triangle. I found him like that. Besides, it so happens I'm worth Woody too. Why, I am the mayor! Loot. Excuse me, I'm a con. I see, said the doctor. Do you understand, without an appointment, I can't lend a hand. Them folks with grown kindness, their kids with the flute flute. He said the mayor of Fiddler Loot. If I'm not mistaken, you're quite busy too. Well, they talked about schedules, compared daily planners, until finally a voice said, Please pardon my manners. I don't mean to bug you. I see that you're busy, but being a girl has made me quite dizzy. The two water Flanians paused for a while. They looked at each other, then said with a smile, We're busy, busy, we're not really busy. You know our idea what we have to do. Busy, busy, shockingly busy. Much, much too busy for you. As we're busy, busy, we're not really busy. was just dreadful. How could it desert their flitting in front with his head in the dirt? That's it then. I'm finished. I'll die down here under. If they wouldn't help me then, who would? He wondered. But wait! Someone else rode overhead. Would they have a friend beaten up, left for dead? Oh look, on his head, not a boot but a pen. Why, this little guy was from Jubilee Land. Would he have a flitting? Certainly not. 
The boy with the pants saw our friend with the boot. Oh, look, he explained. He's from Finner and Loot. Why, they think we're garbage. They pelt us with boots. Why shouldn't I care if he's beaten and bruised? But out here in the wild, his chances are slim. If I was in need, would I want help from him? He looked at our friend, and he looked at the boot. And then in his heart, he knew what to do. It'd be pretty and that's plain to see. But the Lord made him special, just like he made me. So he got him unstuck, and he picked up his boot. And then together, they walked back to Fedora Loot. Out of the valley and back in the town, they were staying by his side till the doctor was found. Oh my, said the doctor. He's wearing a pen. The little one there is from Jupiter D. Land. I... You say this, girl? You, who through it? I don't understand. Tell me, why did you do it? He has a boot, and I have a pen. But when we walk deep in the hills more than we all can, the Lord made us special, and now I can see if you're special to him, then you're special to me. You like it a lot. And now it's time for Goofy Songs with Alvin, the part of the show where Alvin comes up and sings a Goofy song. A cooler opens as Alvin, having just finished his morning bath and searching for his hair gel, having no success, Alvin cries out, Oh, where is my hair gel? Oh, where is my hair gel? I need to look good for a brand new day, but oh, where is my hair gel? Having heard the cry, Alvin Pa Square enters the scene, shot and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Alvin in the towel. Pa begins composing and reports. I think I saw a hedge back there! Back there is my hedge up. Back there is my hedge up. I'll use it to shine my hair now that I know it's back there. Which is my hedge up. Having heard his joyous publication, Charlie Cylinder enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Albert in the towel, Charlie regains his composure and comments. Why you need a hair gel? You don't have any hair! Alan is taken aback to the thought that never occurred to him. No hair? What does this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hair gel? Alan wonders. No hair for my hair gel. No hair for my hair gel. I feel like Larry the Cucumber because I, I have no hair. For my hair gel. Having heard his wonderings, Jerry the Spear enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Alvin and the towel, Jimmy regains his composure and confesses, 
album that I have that was yours? Well, you never use it. You don't really need it, so... Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know. What? I gave it to the star. Why? Because he's got hair. Really do sense of this. I've been stuck my back in the mess. Not fair. For my hair gel. Not fair. My poor hair gel. Why did this have to happen? This is so not fair. My little hair gel. Have a hand in the mat, the star enters the scene. When some of the towel, Bob, Alba, and the star are sharply embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing that Alba's curiosity, the star is thankful. Thanks for the hair gel. Yes, good has been done here. The star enters the scene. Alba smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment to the hair gels, calls out, Take care of my hair gel. Take care of my hair gel. I hope your hair shines so cool, so pretty, please take care of my hair gel. The end. Hi, oh, you're a good child. Oh, you're a good child. So, is there anyone else you'd like to invite to your birthday party? Hmm, let's see. Don't forget to have Lewis. Oh, at Violet Park. I think that's it. Are you forgetting anyone else? No, I don't think so. What about Leonardo? I bet he'd like to come. No, not Leonardo. Why not? Well, he just moved here, so I don't know him very well. Besides, he talks kind of funny. Now, Charlie, he doesn't talk funny. He just talks different. His family's from another country. Yeah, I know. It still sounds funny. You know, Charlie, the Lord wants us to love everybody, not just the people that are like us. So we need to accept others just the way they are. Besides, we can learn a lot from people who are different than us. Yeah, I suppose. I'll tell you what. You think about it, and in the morning, we'll talk some more, okay? Okay. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Dad. Jimmy, I'm a spear, and I need your help. Wow, thank you. Have and uh, I'm here too. Um, what's a guy in a space helmet? Huh? What do you mean, Alvin? Why? I should have told you this, but you're not allowed to eat while you're wearing your helmet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We need your help. Our starship, the USS Diametry, is in great danger. Oh, really? Tell me more. In just eight minutes, the ship and his crew be smashed to bits by a giant meteor. He's right, and they're all gonna be doomed! 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 Good heavens! Oh, can't you just move the ship out of the way? Well, that's just it. It's completely without power. It's out of the water. She can't move an inch. What Jimmy is trying to say is, it's stuck. Oh, dear. Well, gee, how can I help? Didn't you mess with some technology at the Hoppy Tops daycare? Why, yes! Yes, I did! Question. What's your major in? That's not important now. Yes, it is important. We gotta figure out what he majors in. Plato. What? I only majored in kryptonite! No time for the jet! Charlie, only you can save geometry! Lieutenant Allen, the shrinker beam! I like Captain Jimmy. Oh, you might feel a sense tickle when I press the button. Guys, I think my helmet's on backwards. Oh, yeah. Hey, Charlie, there it is, the USS Geometry. That's gonna be cool. When we get on board, we're we'll introduced to you to Biker. Then you can help us out fix the power. 
Oh, Captain, you have returned! Hello, Biker. Any luck? I'm afraid not, Captain. The engine has got no power, and we only got five minutes until the media smashes up the beats! How many people are on this ship? 364! And how many space pods are there? Two! Drat! How much do you know about this media? Oh, funny thing you should mention it. Our sensors have just turned that the media is mainly entirely out of... What? Out of what? Candy corn! <laughs> A candy corn ball media. The worst kind. Um, just out of curiosity, did we get the candy corn meteor to a bird named Z? Because I hear she likes candy corn. And I can't blame her, it's quite delicious. The expression little dip is way hit you 6,000 miles an hour! That even a bird who's friends with a moose can't even handle it! Wow, touche! Beep in St. Louis, Louis meets me at the fair. Don't hey, tell me the lights are shining. Ah. Oh, the never mind them! They're the People new guys! Bushy, cushy, I will be arch and see what's he. Meet me in St. Louis, I'll be waiting there. Similar shape to Charlie. You mean the cylinder? Two of them. Well, maybe they have some ideas. What? Not the new guys! They don't know anything! All they do is sing and eat! He can sing! Between you and me, I think they're crazy! Wow! Despite the fact I'm a singer too! I will be arch and see what's he Meet me in St. Louis I'll be waiting there! Hi, I'm Charlie! Another cylinder like us? Hi, I'm Bob Cylinder. And I'm Elvin Cylinder. We're the new guys. So, why do you sing all the time? Why don't you? Because it's weird! <laughs> I mean different. You know, sometimes differences can be good if we could just take the time to know each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Why do you eat so much? Well, we're hungry, I guess. It's our metabolism or something. You know, sometimes I think I can eat a whole bus! Yeah, well sometimes I think I can eat a whole spaceship! Oh yeah? Well sometimes I think I can eat a whole planet! 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 Planet? Planet? Biker, how many pots you said they were? Two! Bob, Melvin, did you mean when you say something about eating a whole planet? Well, sure, but... How would you guys like to help us save the ship? Well, gosh, that would be pretty swell! Wait, why were you two mimicking the music when the music was already there? To make it sound more dramatic? Hold on a second. So, we're just staying here? Only two minutes left. I hope this works. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? He lives on Jury Lane. Hmm. I bet I want to see him make the gingerbread man. Or possibly Gumbo. And then I can eat all his muffins. Well, I can eat all his muffins in his house. Hey, look. Some kind of player or something. Is that where the Muffin Man lives? No, Malvin, he lives on Jury Lane. Oh, right. Wait! Do you realize what this is? 
Is it popcorn? No! It's candy corn! Ooh, even better. Let's, Let's eat, eat it! it! Do you think it's possible? If anyone can do it, they can! This calls for dramatic jump cuts. Except when it cuts back to us, we have to make dramatic poses. Only 10 seconds left. Those soldiers better be hungry. Five, four, three, two, one. Incoming! Hey, Duck! No more for me, thanks. I'm full. Excuse me. Get him in here! Your mission is our pleasure. You saved the ship! Oh, it was nothing. Nothing! You mean to tell me saving 475 lives by rapidly consuming 25,000 metric tons of candy corn is nothing? Well, I guess it may be a little something. And to think I couldn't be your friend just because you guys were different. Why, if you weren't different, none of us would be here right now. Hey guys, look at this! Well, I got a little bit hungry, so I was just snacking at the end of this table when I saw this. <gasps> it's some kind of electrical plug or something. Plug it in! Okay. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? You two really are something else! You know, it kind of reminds you of a song. Hey boys, have you ever seen a boy with bloody clothes, a girl with braces on her teeth, and freckles on her nose? Some kids call them oddballs, some kids call them weird. Is this my imagination, or does that dude have a beard? The Lord is lots of people in our colors, shapes, and sizes. He loves it very much, and what we need to realize is that calling people names because they're different is wrong. Instead, we need to go about them in love and sing a song. I can be this way. I can be this way. Any day, any day, we can be friends and play together. Some are skinny, some are stout. But the inside is the part that we're supposed to care about. Aye, that's where we got feelings and they're very much the same. And so instead of weirdo, I'll be friends with our ladies. I can be your best friend. La, 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 la. I can be your best friend. La, la, la. If your hair is red or yellow, we can have lunch, I'll share my jello. I can be your best friend. Best friend. It's okay if we are different. We can still play because I can be your best friend. Dad, Dad, come quick! Oh, 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 what is it? Is something wrong? Oh, no. I just want to tell you that I'm going to invite Leonardo to my party after all. Really? That was quick. What made you change your mind? Well, you know, being different can be good. Like, maybe if my party's about to be smashed by a giant candy corn ball meteor, Leonardo can eat it. Or maybe if Chaos come back from Sonic Adventure 2 with lots of water, maybe he could slash it with his guitar blades. Well, I don't think Leonardo can do those kinds of things. But I bet he can teach you about his country and show you the kinds of foods he likes to eat. Who knows? You might like it. Yeah, that sounds fun. I'm sure I am proud of you for making the right decision. Well, it's time for sleeping. I love you, little mister. I love you, big mister. See you tomorrow. Okay. Why? What is it now? Um, well... Lieutenant Alvin here dropped our map right out of the spaceship. I apologize. And, um, we were wondering if you could just give us a way to the freeway. I think we can make it from there. 
out the window, down the street, right at Miss Spicy. Great. Thanks. Huh? I was right. That's what I said. I said right at Miss Spicy. Oh, no. You said left. I distinctly remember you saying left at Miss Spicy. What? Why would I say that? That'd be, that'd be cuckoo crazy. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Can we stop at Miss Spicy? No. We need our money for toast. here by Cordy to Bino to talk about what we learned today. And so we learn of a world of place to our lives today. Mm. And what the Lord has to say in his book. Thank you and sorry about that. Anyway, as I was saying, we're... You see, we know that the Lord's words are for everyone. And now that the sun's done, let's go take a look. Woo, this is the best song ever! We've got a show to finish. Then you can listen to the Whatever You Learn song. Oh my goodness, yeah, what's wrong with me here? <clears throat> so, in our story, in Fit or Loot, we learned that loving your partner means helping people, even though we really don't feel like it. That's right. And in space. We learned that loving your partner means we can be friends with everybody. Yep. Even kids who are really different than us. We might even learn something from them, too. Let's see if Corey Jupiter has a verse for us today. Love your neighbor as yourself. Leviticus 1918. Now, Evelyn, this means that we should treat others like we want to be treated. Oh, look at the time! That's all the time we have for today! Well, until next time, remember, the Lord made you special and he loves you very much. Bye! Toodle pip!